section of a beam and how we will be able to work out find out the effective span of beam based on various type of beams and various type of supports so for this information we can refer clause number 22.2 of is 456 so first point is if there is a simply supported beam now simply supported beam mean the ends of the beam are not restricted for any type of movement so definition part we can discuss simply supported beams are beam that are not built integrally with their supports such as beams supported on brick walls so to understand it more effectively we can go through the diagram now you can see here one diagram here this beam is of concrete made up of concrete and steel so it is termed as rcc beam and uh, this uh, reddish color line we are just going to discuss that it is reinforcement bars so we are taking into consideration an rcc beam that is a reinforced cement concrete beam so beam which is reinforced with steel now this beam is supported on two walls brick walls so we can say here that these walls and uh, this beam they are not rigidly fixed here rigidly connected or you can say they are not integrally built with the support so first of all we will be uh, just uh, constructing the walls and the later on beam will be constructed on and placed on these walls so concreting will take later on first of all we will be building the brick walls now you can see here the clear spacing between two walls that is supports basically these are the simple support so lc is the clear span and uh, from center to center of walls that will be the center to center distance now we have to work out what is the effective span which we will be going to use in calculation in finding out the bending moments that means in the analysis part and the later on in the design part now what code is suggesting in 22.2 clause that first of all we have to calculate effective span now for effective span calculation we have two type of conditions very first condition is code is saying you have to calculate effective span first by this equation that is l effective is equal to l clear plus effective depth of the beam section second point is you have to calculate center to center of support length so first of all we will be working out this value then center to center distance we will measure and whichever is lesser so out of these two values whichever is lesser that will be taken as length of the effective span or effective span length so lc as i discussed is the clear span between two supports small d is the effective depth of the beam so if you work out suppose for example if your l effective from this calculation is coming out to be say it is 5.2 and uh, this center to center is suppose it is 5 then your effective span will be 5 it will be 5 meter or whatever the units now in continuation if uh, the beam is a continuous type of beam that in the beam is supported on more than two type two supports three supports or four supports like that so then your beam will be looking like this now it is a continuous beam and uh, the, uh, it is getting extended beyond this that when it is not end of the part of the beam now i have taken into consideration three number of supports so that means this beam is continuous over many supports so we are just for example to try to understand that what is the meaning of a continuous beam so lc is the clear span length between two supports and here we are considering that all these three or, or any number of supports which are brick supports or brick walls they have same width of the 
wall so that way wall width is same let uh, vw is the width of the wall brick wall and i'll see the clear span now what code is suggesting that how to calculate length of the effective span so very first step is if the width of support this vw is less than or equal to lc by 12 so this is the first condition then you have to calculate effective span is equal to just as we have taken into consideration in the previous part that is lc plus d or center to center support whichever is lesser so if your numerical problem or your design problem is uh, valid here that means this equation is valid that means width of the brick wall is less than or equal to lc by 12 then you can calculate the effective span by using this formula that means these two values and the lesser value you have to take into consideration now second case if the width of the wall or width of this support is greater than lc by 12 or 600 mm whichever is less so you have to calculate first of all you have to calculate lc by 12 let it is 500 and uh, then you have to check 600 and out of these two 500 and 600 whichever is less that you can take into consideration then the following cases can arise first case is for end span with end, uh, end fix suppose the where we will considering let this is end span and this is intermediate span so if this end span if this connection is a fixed end so what code is saying <coughs> if end span with one end fixed and other end continues like this or for intermediate span l effective will be equal to l effective is equal to lc <coughs> so you have to directly take the value of l effective is equal to length of the clear span and in second case for end span with one end free and other end continuous suppose this is your end span and uh, this uh, one end is free and other end is continuous then effective span can be taken by lc plus effective depth of beam by 2 or lc plus half the width of discontinuous support whichever whichever is less so no need to get confused here for the second point this will be applicable when we, you will be going to design any continuous type of B. So third case will be when span with the roller or rocker vary, then L effective can be taken by this particular equation or vertical this formula that is distance between the center of the wheel. So what I want to explain you here that information regarding the calculation of or working out of length of effective span we can refer clause number 22.2 of IS 456 which is relevant clauses are given for different type of beams whether it is a simply supported beam whether it is a continuous beam whether it is a cantilever beam etc so as per the uh, design problem that what type of design problem and what type of beam we are going to design we will be referring clause number 22 and uh, first of all we will 